lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel it's Maria david here today and i am back again with another video if this is the first time you joining my channel you're welcome back to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe like share this video we find it very very helpful so guys today i am going to talking about things that causes acne things that causes breakouts the things you need to avoid in order for you to reduce your breakouts and the things to replace those breakouts or those things that causes your breakout things to replace them with okay guys i know that acne can be very very annoying especially when you have a lot all over your face you have spots you have pimples all over your face they are very very annoying because a lot of people get to meet you guys come and tell you that use these they give you advice they make you look as if you're not even taking care of your face or taking care of your skin at all it is super super annoying i know that because i am prone to acne and I break out a lot, always, every time. I break out a lot. So I have come to realize the things that actually causes my breakouts and the things that I do or the things that I place those things with and that actually helped me. So I'm going to be sharing you with, with you guys today. If you are if you are prone to acne or you usually have breakouts like this, I would advise to watch videos to the end because every little thing that I'm going to say in this video will really really help you okay will help your acne journey okay so and I, I i want you guys to know that we have different type of skin different type of body metabolism we have we we are different okay what causes my breakouts might not cause your breakouts so whatever i'm saying in this video is what causes my breakout and i feel like you should be, you should be able to relate to it and if i if you watch videos to the end and you see that i didn't Say things that actually cause your own breakouts. Feel free to put that in the comment section and let's see what causes your breakouts. Okay, so now guys, let's go straight into this video. Number one thing that causes my breakouts is taking sugary drinks. When I make sugary drinks, I make Coca Cola, Fanta, Sprite, all those, all those drinks. You understand? It causes my breakouts a lot. And I'm not trying to bring down anybody's company. Coca-Cola is very good. It gives you energy and all of that. But when it comes to my skin, when it comes to acne, it really does a very bad job on my face. Especially, I notice that when I take Coca-Cola a lot, I, I tend to have rough face. Like, very, very rough. Okay? So, I... When I notice it's not like I notice this a day I took Coca-Cola. No, I would take Coca-Cola. There was a time I was taking that drink for a very long time. Like I was addicted to it because I really like it. Okay. Then the point I decided to stop taking the drink because I read about it and I saw that sugar drink causes breakout and everything. But I didn't know that it's 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 actually true until I stopped it and I replaced it with water. So every time I see coke, I always take water. If you know me well, you know that when you ask me, do you want coke or water? I pick water one million times because right now I love drinking water. And aside that, there are fruit juice as well that I actually replaced with my Coca-Cola. I replaced fruit juice. If you ever watch any of my three to four videos about fruit juice, you are missing because I've made like three to four videos on this channel about how to make fruit juice at home like fruits you can you can see around you and those really really helps my skin a lot guys i'm not 100 percent free from acne if you look close i'm not on makeup right now because i just woke up and i said okay let me film this video i've not even done a lot of things <laughs> let me a lot of things i've not done anything today i just like to film this video so i've not actually done my makeup i've not done anything so if you look closely you see that there's pimples right here and here i think there was one here i think so it's not like i'm 100 percent free from breakout but the things that i actually stopped doing that helps me because before i used to have like a lot a lot a lot of pimples like big big ones so i there are things that actually stopped that really really helped me these are the things i'm actually sharing with you guys so one thing is sugary drinks i replace my sugary drinks with water or fruit juice when you're taking fruit juice make sure you make it yourself because to get a fresh fruit juice in this um in this society it does not how they want to add sugar to it or have preservative or some things that are not going to be fresh but you can do it yourself or you can just just drink water another thing that causes my breakouts is dairy products like milk 
I, I don't know a particular milk maybe pick me I don't know I shall know that when I take milk when I drink milk when I I mean when I want to drink milk I don't just take a little I will pack it it must be thick I must it must be the thickest what to take tea the, the, the tea must be thick for this gary the milk in the gary must be thick I don't know how to minimize all those things but when I take all those things I notice that like this one is not even joke this is not joke. When I take milk, the next day I am breaking out, like I'm waking up with pimples. And I feel like, what did I eat? What did I eat? What did I eat? Before I could actually understand that that was what was causing my breakout, it took me a very, very long time. And because of the love I have for milk, I love milk a lot. Like, guys, milk is so sweet. I love it a lot. So, for, because of love I have for it, it took me a very long time to be able to adjust. Even till now, I'm still like this. When it comes to milk and because it's not how you have to just drink milk but if you if you're a tea lover you drink milk if you're a gary lover you drink milk you have to add milk to it okay so it's, it's really really it was really really difficult for me to stop it and there was one thing i actually replaced my milk with is coconut milk yes coconut milk doesn't it's not sweet let me not lie to you it's very very light and it's just there but that was what I replaced my milk with, and since then I've been okay. Even sometimes I apply coconut milk directly on my face so that I can use it as my mask sometimes, and it has really, really helped me a lot. I swear, because when I take milk, it's instant breakouts. Like I can't run away from it. I can't run away from it. So that is very, very dangerous for your skin. And if you're if you're prone to acne, or you're breaking out a lot, and you have been taking sugary drinks, you've been taking all those milks. Please just reduce it and stop it for now try and caution yourself is it that you stop taking it there totally or you re or you replace it with what I'm, I'm replacing it with i take coconut milk and for you to get coconut milk you can get coconut milk anywhere in the mar in supermarkets okay it's inside like a can that's the milk i take for now and it's not sweet but i'm forcing myself to drink it and it has been helping me a lot okay another thing that actually causes breakouts is cake guys i love cake i've not actually found replacement of cake right now i've not found the replacement it's just that i had to caution myself i had to caution myself there was a time like that that when i was still working a, a colleague of mine she bakes so there was, time, there was a time she she baked one particular flavor and she brought it to the office she just told me to taste the cake guys i finished that cake <laughs> i finished that cake in a sitting and during that period i didn't really have acne i was my face was okay guys the next day when i came back to the office i could not they could not recognize me like what happened i was like i don't know what did you eat what happened so later i was like what did i eat then i had to do a lot of research and i found out that the things they used to make cake the things that are involved in in baking the cake are things that it's supposed to even avoid when you're breaking as well it's supposed to avoid if you have an acne prone skin those are the things that actually sat down to eat in one sitting that's that much i love cake and till now i've not found a replacement if you have a replacement for me for cake just leave that in the comment section below i'll be glad to listen to you okay so guys the next thing that actually causes my breakout is foundation makeup i do a lot of makeup as at last year i'm always on makeup i'm always on makeup because i was breaking out a lot and it's kind of embarrassing going out to that makeup you see people see your face and be like what happens to your face why is your face like this the point is using foundation and i'll take out and people to say you are using your, your face is bad and i'm seeing the foundation you know so i was like this day as a time period i was like i'm even really going to actually stop using all that thing guys that was the best decision i actually made because they really really help the skin they help you products you're using on your skin to work you think those products are not working because you're, you maybe you use a particular product to, to cure your acne to cure your spots and you feel that they're not working guys they like they're working it's because you are doing makeup it's because you are doing makeup once you stop doing that makeup once you stop applying makeup and you just focus on that skin 
skincare products use them to your face is very very okay for you to do makeup guys you will enjoy those products and they're going to work perfectly well those are the things that i actually saw that was that actually closed my pores and just made my face be very very bad and since i stopped it and i've replaced it or since i replaced it with no makeup but most of them i just apply just powder I can just find under some products and some makeup specifically that clog your pores. That's a break of the that causes acne. I'm not going to name products right now because that's a video for another day. So I'm just going to tell you things that you have to avoid. So that's another thing you have to avoid if you're prone to acne, if you're breaking out. So guys, another thing that actually causes my acne breakout is granox. <laughs> I know you must have yet you must have had granules everywhere. People tell you know it's granules give you pimples. So it's granules. So the time I was like, Yimu, Yimu, I will eat it. I'm very stubborn. No? I will eat the granules. I was eating it, eating it, eating it. Huh. Oh Lord, until I found out that granules was part of the thing that was giving me pimples, like serious ones. You know when you eat granules, like. You know how the shape of that granite, that's the shape of the pimples that come out of my face. That's how bad this was giving me a reaction. So I I always break out when I eat granules. And I found replacement for granules. My replacement is kind of expensive and it is almonds. I love almonds right now. Like almonds are very, very very as in very, very far, far better than granules. If you don't just Almonds and cashew nuts. Cashew nuts is also very good, but cashew nuts have not actually given me breakouts. Cashew nuts and almonds are very good to replace with granules. So if you are prone to acne or you've been breaking out and you take granules a lot, my sister, my brother, just take, stop it. Just stop it. Replace it. If you cannot do without granules, replace it with almonds or cashew nuts. Those two are better, way way better than granules. So when I stress myself, I tend to break out as well. So I always try to do things gradually. I don't do things like I must finish these things today, today, now, now. I try as much as possible to do things gradually. I take my time and plan my day. So that is time. That is how I actually replace stress with. Because when I stress myself, I don't have to tell you I'm stressed. You will see it in me. My face, I'm going to break out, I'm going to be breaking out, I'm going to be like, it's going to be rough. You know when you're breaking out, it's from where your face is rough. My face is going to be very, very rough and it's not even going to be manageable at all. So, I tend to replace the stress with trying to plan my day, trying to do things, you know, taking my time to do things so that I won't be super stressed and I won't break out, okay? to break out when i change my skincare regimen if you give me your cream that works for you well and i'm like okay maria take this cream it's going to work for your face and i collect the cream and i'm starting to use it this night tomorrow morning i am going to have pimples pop out on my face it's not because that your cream is bad it's because i introduced a new thing a new thing to my face as little as soap as this was soap, when I change soap, I tend to break out. My face will tell me, my face will notify me that, okay, you are using something very, very new. You are using something very, very new. So how do I know a skincare product is bad for me? Is when I change my skincare, a new skincare regimen, or maybe I switch something, maybe I switch soap, or I switch cream, or I switch cleanser, and I break out, or pimples pop out then the pimples keep popping out or more keeps popping out even when I'm still using the product it keeps popping out keeps popping out keeps popping out guys it means that this product is bad for my skin it's really really bad so I think I just have to stop it this continue that is after like two weeks if I've noticed it though it's just two days old two weeks but when I know the skincare regimen is good for me is when I use it but if I'm going to pop out, because no, my natural is going to pop out. I can't run away from it. If I change my regimen, I'm going to break out. Even if it's just one or two pimples, something will come out and be like, okay, I'm here. I'm here. 
some people come out and once that and once it comes out and it dries up like in three days nothing else is coming out again that is when i know that product is good for my face and i stick to it so my advice is when you found when you found a product that is good for your face that's good for treating that your face stick to as i say from the beginning the thing that I said from the beginning is number one, replace Coca-Cola or sugary drinks with either a fruit juice or water. Replace your cake with, I don't know, <laughs> I don't have cake replacements yet, but reduce your cake intake. Replace your dairy products, your, your milk and all of that. Replace it with coconut milk or almond milk or tiger nut milk. And also reduce your stress. Don't try to stress yourself. Replace your granola with almond oil. Stop using foundation and makeup all the time. Let the breeze blow your face. Let's, you know, let's free your face from all that products. I feel like six things actually. And the seventh thing is skincare products that actually can actually break you out. So be careful. Try to pay attention. On your skin try to be like okay what really really works for me what is really okay does this thing work okay when I change this what really really happen try and pay attention to your body try and pay attention to your skin those things actually help you to stay habits that you're doing that will actually can actually still give you breakouts aside from food you eat or things you do there are some habits you do that can actually give you breakouts I'm just going to mention two of it Number one thing is your pillowcase. Yes, pillowcase. You have to change your pillowcase. It's possible for you to change your pillowcase every two two days. Please just change it. It's best for you because once I start having there's this side of the face, this side, this area. Yes, this side of the face. When I start having pimples at that side, is it that number one? My pillowcase is dirty, and I just have to change it. And I've actually make it an habit to be changing my pillowcase every three days can I just ignore any voice here in the background <laughs> please just ignore it okay i've actually made an habit to be changing my pillowcase every three three days three times in a week every three three days sha i change my pillowcase i change my another thing is your phone you can your phone can actually cause break up as well this other side as well this is where you receive call this is where you put, put your phone to say hello how are you and all of that it's either you 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 change and start using earpiece or something but when i use when i'm having people say i notice that it's either, it's either my phone is this so i clean always try to regularly clean your phone with wipes is as in your phone gather a lot of dust and dirt so you placing it directly on your face to receive call it's going to give you pimples and you know all those things your face is very delicate any small thing you have pimples if you are prone to acne you know if you're not prone to acne you might not be able to relate what i'm trying to say right now okay so you have to change you have to always clean your phone change your pillowcase those two things really really help you to have acne free skin okay i feel like i have said little but if I made this video, guys, I, I was like a list of things that was giving me acne, that causes my acne. But right now, I can't even find the list. So I'm just actually saying as it comes. But I feel like I've not actually said everything. Guys, please just ignore this voice, this noise at the background. Please, guys, just ignore it, okay? I feel like I've not said all the whole thing I've said I wrote in the list. I can't even find the list. But if you, if you watch the video to this end, and you feel like there's some things I've not said, just please put it down in the comment section. Let's see what causes your acne. Let's see what doesn't cause your acne that causes mine. Feel free to put it down in the comment section so that we will be able to see and relate with you. Okay? Guys, thank you so much for watching the video to this point. I really, really appreciate that. Okay? And again, I want to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you for clicking that subscribe button. It really, really means a lot to me. My subscriber count is growing like every minute, every second of the day. And I'm just smiling. I'm just smiling because I'm really, really happy. And it's giving me motivation to actually see that. Okay, 4,000 people actually watching. I actually subscribed to my channel. Oh, nice. That's good. 
thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel thanks for even clicking my videos to watch i know it's not easy to click videos to watch videos to the end it's not easy thank you so much for doing all that okay and also thank you thank you so much for the calls i receive calls i receive comments i see i see your text message i see your emails and everything thank you so much for all of that as as much as i have good people that come to me to appreciate me i see i have people that still come to me to insult me i see you also i see you <laughs> anyways and i also also appreciate all of you that have actually patronized my brand cmd skincare thank you so much guys for coming to actually support a dream and patronize me cmd skincare thank you guys so much you guys are the real mvp you guys are the real mvp thank you guys so much so i'm going to end this video right now and i hope i actually made points i hope i i said things that you really wanted to hear i hope you enjoyed this video so i am going to end this video right here don't forget to like this video comment share it to your friends that you know that i'm struggling with acne share it to them let them let them be able to see things in a different way and see what they need to change their habits so that their face is going to be fresh and flourishing